During a pandemic lockdown, teenage twins Dan and Angus take their exercise very seriously. Dan and Angus walk at the same speed and they run at the same speed. And their running speed is exactly twice as fast as their walking speed. Each day they leave home together to walk or to run on the path that passes by their house on an east to west line. On Monday, Dan runs east for eight minutes and then takes a rest on a bench. Angus runs west for four minutes. Then he turns round immediately and he walks until he meets Dan still sitting on the bench. How long does Angus's walk take? On Tuesday, Dan runs east for 15 minutes while Angus runs west for 15 minutes. Then Dan walks towards Angus while Angus runs towards Dan. How many minutes after turning do they meet each other? On Wednesday, Dan walks east and Angus runs east each for six minutes. Then Dan runs in the same direction for another six minutes, while Angus turns and goes west walking for another six minutes. After this, they both turn around and run towards each other. After how many minutes do they meet? The first step to solving this problem has got to be drawing a little diagram of each of the three situations. In this question, so much is changing. Dan and Angus, they're sometimes going east, sometimes going west. They're sometimes running, they're sometimes walking. Sometimes they're even sitting still. And so to keep track of everything, you really need a wee diagram to help you to tackle this problem. We know that the twins run at the same speed and we know that they walk at the same speed. We know that each day they walk or they run along the path that goes by their house in an east to west direction. We know that the twins' running speed is twice as fast as their walking speed. On Monday, Dan runs east for eight minutes and then takes a rest on a bench. Angus runs west for four minutes. Then he turns round immediately and he walks until he meets Dan still sitting on the bench. How long does Angus's walk take? One great way to handle this problem is to convert everything into walking speed. If Dan had walked to the bench, he would have taken 16 minutes. It would take Angus eight minutes to walk as far away from Dan as he did by running for four minutes. So to get to Dan, he walks for eight minutes to return home and then another 16 minutes to get to the bench where Dan is. Angus walks eight minutes plus another 16 minutes to get to his brother. So altogether, Angus walks 24 minutes. On Tuesday, Dan runs east for 15 minutes, while Angus runs west for 15 minutes. Then Dan walks towards Angus, while Angus runs towards Dan. How many minutes after turning around do they meet? After 15 minutes, Dan and Angus are 30 minutes apart at running pace and 60 minutes or an hour apart at walking pace. When they change direction and head towards each other, Angus is running. So he's going to go twice as fast and cover twice as much distance. So Dan walks one third of the distance, while Angus runs two thirds of the distance. One third of 60 minutes is 20 minutes. So they'll meet after Dan has walked for 20 minutes and after Angus has covered the equivalent of 40 minutes of walking. On Wednesday, Dan walks east and Angus runs east each for six minutes. 
Ben, Dan, runs on in the same direction for six minutes, while Angus walks west for six minutes. Then they both turn around and run towards each other. For this one, let's convert everything into running pace. Angus runs six minutes east and then walks six minutes west. But the walk's equivalent to a three minute run. So he's now three minutes east of his starting position if we use running pace. Meanwhile, Dan walks east for six minutes, which is the equivalent of running east for three minutes. Then he keeps going in the same direction, running for another six minutes. So now he is nine minutes east of his starting position if we're using running pace. Angus is a three minute run east. Subtracting this, we can see that the twins are a six minute run apart. That means if they run to each other, they'll meet in three minutes.